Hey guys, I'm pretty excited. I got a new radio. I got the, uh, let's see if we can pronounce it right. The uh, Goitech, Goitech. We're gonna say Goitech, uh, Q900. Um, this is, once again, not an unboxing, but it did come in a pretty cool box. But um, I'm excited about this radio. I've wanted it for a long time. It's a 20 watt radio. What really surprised me is how, I mean, it looks big, that thing is tiny. Small little radio, but um, really cool. Internal battery, can only work 10 watts, I believe, with an internal battery, but 20 watt radio, a little different on the front. I'm learning, I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna learn together as I go along. I haven't ever, this is it. First time I've even powered it up. So if it doesn't work, um, you won't see this video. So <laughs> it worked, obviously. If we are watching this right now, we're gonna go forward with it, but um, great radio. 160 to 10 meters HF, six meters, four meters if your country allows that, um, two meters and 70 centimeters. It's a, it is basically a shack in a box. Um, like the G90, it has a built-in ATU, has VSWR, uh, you know, analyzation tools, all that in it. So heard some good things about this radio and I've heard some bad things about this radio. All I've got, I didn't get, you can get a DMR module and a GPS module and all these other add-ins. All I'm gonna use this for is like I use my G94, just portable for HF. So this is the bottom, you know, the entry, just the HF version with no add-ons, nothing to it, but um, Goitech uh, Q900. I'm gonna put up an antenna that I've used many times to see how this thing does with that antenna. And we're gonna cut it on and see how this thing performs. This isn't gonna really be a review because I'm not gonna do one review on this and say how good it is or how bad it is. I'm gonna do many videos using this radio over the next few weeks, I hope. And uh, and we'll see, is this a Q90? Oh, Q, is this a G90 replacement? I don't know, maybe, it might be, maybe not. I love my G90, but I'm looking for something. Built-in battery, portable, easy to carry, almost can make a man pack out of it. Let's get the antenna up. Let's fire this thing up and see what kind of contacts we can make. Stick around. Here's the antenna setup. I'm using the M1 ECC halfway vertical for 20 meters. This thing is tried, true, and tested. I love it. I uh, will have to use the uh, ATU within the radio. I wanted to do that on purpose, but uh, the X Commander uh, 10 meter expedition pole, there that I've got that on, kind of taped to it. A little windy out here, and uh, got the coax running under the fence. And then over here to the Jeep. So um, that's the antenna. Like I said, I love this antenna. I've used it quite a bit, so I know its performance. I know how things will go. I wanna see how this radio will do. I've used this antenna with my G90 so many times with great success. Let's see how this radio will do with this antenna here on uh, Narragansett Bay here at Quonset Point in Rhode Island. Let's go. Okay. I've been playing around a little bit. I don't know what's going on with the waterfall here, but I'll figure that out. Made a few adjustments. I've got a lot to learn about this radio. I really do, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot here. We'll, t we'll get everything ironed out and tweaked out over two or three activations, I'm sure. But um, I want to see if I can make a contact here now. Uh, if you notice, uh, the H here for high power is it's five watts for low, H for high. I do have it hooked up to a uh, 10 amp hour uh, life, life before external battery, which is giving me, you see, the 13.3 volts there. Um, the internal battery is just an eight volt battery. The T lit up there, that's the tuner. I did use the ATU and worked and sounded great. Um, here we go, let's see if we can make a contact. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo four, station combat. Yes, Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, was that US 0718? Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, can I get your call one more time too? I'm sorry. QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm portable in Rhode Island, 20 watch. Thanks for taking the call there, 73. Thank you for the time, 73, thanks for hiking, Joseph. Haha, it worked. Okay, tuning this thing's a little funky. You gotta kinda move move the cursor back and forth here and then up and down here. 
I guess I'll get used to that eventually, but uh, for now, <laughs> it's, it's not all that bad, but I'm getting there. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, here's a disappointment. You see here the T. This, this is uh, 17 meters, which I've never had a problem tuning this antenna for 17 meters with the G90. We're gonna try it here and watch it struggle and struggle and struggle. And it's still, that will stay green if it tuned it. It won't tune if you watch. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. You, you see the high VSWR there, so it won't tune. This internal tuner won't tune 17. So that's one, there's a big strike right there. I mean, that's the beauty of the G90. It'll do it. I'm thinking about popping the G90 out here in a minute and uh, trying it on the same band here just to prove the fact here. A lot of things going on here. I haven't made a contact, but it's uh, it's been a struggle. Hello CQ, hello CQ, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar calling CQ, CQ, K4OGO calling CQ, CQ, anyone, anyone. Hello CQ, hello CQ, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar calling CQ, CQ, K4OGO calling CQ, CQ, anyone, anyone. Hello CQ, hello CQ, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, calling CQ, CQ, K4OGO, calling CQ, CQ, anyone, anyone. Okay, I'm not going to lie, this has been a little frustrating, so I'm going to cut this off, and I'm not done. It's a beautiful day, and I got time, I want to work some a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I said something earlier about maybe uh, comparing it to the G90. I'm going to go one better. I'm going to hook my little 5 watt uh, X5105 up in the same place, same antenna. I'm just going to swap out the radio and see if that acts better or does better. That's really going to be a tail there. If, if this thing cannot outperform my X5105, then, uh, then <laughs> it is what it is. And I know there's a little bit of user. Uh, I need to learn a little bit more about the radio, and I probably need to get... A lot more acquainted with it before I get out here and start making videos with it. But this was just out of the box to see how we could do. So let's hook up the uh, let's hook up the X5105. Okay, right out of the bat, let's let's see if it'll tune the uh, 17. <laughs> Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yeah, there you go absolutely absolutely it tuned 17 it tuned 17 so there's a strike against the q900 right out of the right out of the shoot here well somewhat of a frustrating day um probably a little bit of user and probably a whole lot of this um, i'm gonna still play with it try to get familiar with it but um i'm not impressed coming out of the shoot with it we'll definitely play with it some more uh, i think what i'll do is get up um Maybe a couple days to get up, do an early morning with it, and see how that hap how that works. Maybe um, I, I got to tell you, I, I pulled the G90 out, and the power connector where it goes in the back has disconnected. I got to perform surgery on the G90. Um, I had the X5105 with me, had three radios with me, had that with me as well, and um, yeah, I was able to uh, tune uh, tune the antenna on every band and. Um, and this would not, the, the internal tuner on this would not tune 15 and 17 meters on this. It would tune 12 believe it, and 10, believe it or not. So something happens in the middle there. I don't know what's going on. That antenna was meant to, it's a halfway for 20, but you definitely need a, a tuner to tune the other band. So, um, 
a little frustrated with the blue bucket back here. I've been going through it, getting stuff out, whatever. It's one of those days I've been out here for a couple, two or three, almost two and a half hours uh, trying to get something going with this uh, this radio. And band conditions, I could hear them were somewhat, it sounded good. They really did. It sounded like things were good. The mic that came with this one's a little different too, if you see that. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to take it and um, just use it as a receiver for a little bit kind of get real familiar with everything on the inside of it uh, shame on me for that i need to do that but um first outing was uh was a stressful one not stressful it was a frustrating one a little little a lot of yeah, just wasn't there for me and didn't perform like i wanted it to but it's not the end of the world because i'm gonna go get something to eat come along here we go for today's dinner we are at Gardner War, Gardner's Wharf Seafood. This is uh, Wickford, Rhode Island. So uh, this is a seafood market actually with a, uh, has a clam shack restaurant type in the back of it. As you can see, this is over uh, some marina. It's surrounded by a marina and that is what I like. Places like this for sure. Um, we'll go inside and uh, head inside of the market and uh, go get us a bite to eat here for dinner. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Good stuff. Some lobster. And boy, I wish I lived next door to this place. I really do. Okay, here's the menu. Chevy Shack, that's what they call it, the, uh, the hot food part of this. And uh, I think I'm going to get the fried clam strip plate. And um, you're going to kill me, guys. I'm getting a cup of red. That's going to be dinner tonight. And here's dinner. Oh, yeah. Clam strips, some red chata, and a uh, neat little place here. I'm in the back, out behind it, uh, surrounded here by the cove. I was actually operating straight over there. If you see those white buildings, I was right there. You can almost see the beach where I was at. So, uh, cool place. And um, Chevy Shack here is part of Gardner's Seafood Market. Let's, uh, let's try this out. We'll see how good it is. Okay, absolutely delicious. I mean, delicious. Um, the, the clam strips, they taste, oh my God. They're, they're fresh. You can tell they're so fresh and not overcooked. Just right, battered, just right, cooked, just right. Let me ask you guys a question. I'm a fried dipper. My wife is a squirted on top of the fries. What are you? I, ugh, I like to dip my fries. The coleslaw here, great too. Not over, kind of had a dryness to it and that's the way I like it for sure. And, um, I'm sitting here with a mouthful. It's so good. The um, red chowder. I know everybody in northern New England. New England's going to like be all over me for the red chowder. I just got to tell you, I just like red. That's what, I, what I'm all about. I grew up kind of eating gumbo and a little bit more tangier uh, stuff. But um, the red chowder is good. The best chowder I have ever had is called Menorcan uh, Chowder in Florida. North Florida. It's a place off the beaten path in north in Jackson in the north side of Jacksonville called Chowder Ted's. If you ever get a chance to go there, you will not be disappointed. But back to this food. Amazing, really good. I'm gonna knock it down and then we'll go back and talk about that radio. Wow, what a great dinner. Honestly I needed that good dinner after that activation. A little disappointed. Um heads I just giving you a heads up I bought that on AliExpress. I think I paid 550 bucks for it. I'm still paying on it. I did the four pay on it, but um, you know what? I, it's probably a lot of me in there, and that's what I wouldn't call failure, but that struggle. Um, I'm going to take it back, like I said earlier in the video. I'm going to take it back and um, take the room with me, just use it as a receiver a little bit, play around with the functions on the inside, get a little bit more familiar with it. Before I went out there, I just watched a couple videos and read through the um, the manual. There's a manual online. Um, would I recommend this? Not yet. Is this a G90 replacement? Oh, heck no. Definitely not. At least not yet. I Like I said, I'm not giving up on it yet, but I'm going to give it, you know, give, give it a shot and a try. I've been wanting this radio for a long, long, long time. It looks so cool. Maybe it is cool. Yeah, maybe like anything from China, maybe I got a bad one. Um, I think a lot of it is just um, me and and, uh, and I got to uh, I got to learn how to use it more. Even if I get the complete how-to to that radio, I still don't think it'll be nowhere near as good as as the G90. And uh, mine is really getting uh, 
it's been through a lot. It's it's great, still works great. I need to fix the power line in the back. Maybe put power poles in it. I don't know. I'll do something. Been thinking about getting another one and comparing the ones. Now, mine is the very first generation G90, and it's awesome. I've heard some stories and people say they're not as good as they used to be. I don't know, but um, I might get another one. But for now, I'm going to play with this just a couple more times and see um, just how good it is. Um, people ask me where I bought it. I'm not going to tell you right now. It, just AliExpress is where it came from. I'm not going to give the seller because um, I'm not sure if uh, I would want anyone buying from them you know not that it matters whatever whoever made the radio or whatever i'm just um i'm not i'm not convinced yet so anyway thanks for watching we'll get back out with it again and try it again if you're thinking about buying one of these just hold tight let me uh let me play with it some more get it dialed in and like i said we'll, we'll decide if it's a uh, user malfunction or the radio is really just not that good till next time i'm walt k4 ogo hey thanks for stopping by please like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber i noticed that um my uh, people who watch my videos are not subscribers. I get a whole lot of views of people that just aren't, aren't subscribers. So subscribe and then you won't miss a thing. Till next time, I'm Walt. See you later.